Do you see that? It's a freaking dragon. Whoever said there wasn't a dragon can eat my shorts. <laughs> Welcome back to the Little Reader's Corner. Today I'm sharing my TBR for Draconathon. If you don't know what Draconathon is, well, you're just in luck because I happen to be one of the co-hosts for this readathon, so I can tell you all about it. Basically, Draconathon is a draconic or dragon-based readathon that I am co-hosting with Jade from Jaded Reader. It is going throughout the month of August. There is a lot of variety with the prompts that we have, so you can kind of choose your own adventure for how you want to apply the prompts. If you have any questions about the prompts, feel free to send us a message on Twitter, Instagram, or you can join our Discord. And all of our social media will be linked down below so you can check that out. And in both my announcement video and Jade's announcement video, we discuss the prompts and tell you how to use them. So for the first prompt, we have Mizuchi, which is the water prompt slash Asia prompt. So for this, I will be reading The Tea Dragon Society. So at first glance, you may be wondering, Soleil, what does this have to do with a prompt? Well, good news for you is as a co-host, I can uh, tell you right now that you have so much opportunity to apply these prompts however you would like to. So how I applied the prompt for the Mizuchi dragon is I decided to go for the dragon-based prompt, which was water. And guess what? Tea is made of water. Yep, that's how we're doing this readathon, folks. So if you haven't noticed, the Tea Dragon Society does contain dragons. They're little cute tea dragons, and they are different kinds with different kinds of tea, and they're super cute. So I am planning to read the first book, the second book, and possibly the third book in this Tea Dragon series because I have an e-arc of the third graphic novel, so I'm really excited to read that. So I will be rereading the first one, reading the second one, and possibly the third one all in August. If you have not read The Tea Dragon Society yet, it's super cute, super wholesome. There's a lot of great inclusion and diversity featured in them while also talking about wonderful, cute little tea dragons. So I highly recommend this. If you have not started your TBR yet, you can use tea as the featured water element book. This is how we're going to be doing things, so good luck. The next dragon on the list is Google Khan, and the prompt that I'm doing for this dragon is the global prompt, which is South America slash Mesoamerica. And for that, I will be reading Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia, and I am really excited because I will be doing a special vlog when I read this book because this is a thriller. I have never read a thriller. I'm really afraid, but I'm also very excited because so many of my friends love thrillers. I've heard really amazing things about this book and I'm really excited to read it. It sounds spooky, but really cool. It's about this creepy home in the Mexican countryside and there's like some familial things going on and trying to not read too much about the plot because I feel like most people when they talk about thrillers they say they like to be surprised by the plot so I think I'm gonna go with that approach because I've never read a thriller so I don't know how I'm supposed to go about this but I'm really excited to read my first thriller so this is the book that I will be doing for that. So our third dragon is Gassiandatha, and for this dragon I will be doing the dragon based prompt which is space. So I will be reading Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee. This book sounds really cool. So basically it's a space opera featuring 13 year old Min and Min comes from a long line of fox spirits and there's all these two different kinds of spiritual magic involved in this book. So it is a sci-fi adventure that also has a lot of influence from Korean mythology and it sounds lovely. I'm ready to go. I believe it is a middle grade so I'm also excited about that because I haven't read a lot of middle grade this year so I think it's gonna be really great. 
And then our fourth dragon is Aida Weru, and for this dragon I'll be reading The Blaze Wrath Games by Amparo Ortiz, and this book will be coming out in a couple months, in I believe October, if it's still on schedule. So I'm really excited to be featuring this book in our readathon. The publisher was so nice to send this my way so that I could feature it in our dragon readathon, since this is an upcoming really exciting release that I would really love to feature on my channel. So this book is about a dragon world tournament. It takes place in an alternate reality, like contemporary style world, but of course, competitive dragons tournaments. I think this is the perfect book for me. I'm really excited to read it and I can't wait. Also, it matches the prompt for queer because there are definitely queer characters in it and I can't wait to see those relationships unfold. Our fifth dragon is Udrai Goch and for this one I am doing the dragon-based prompt for Wizard and I will be reading The Adventure Zone, specifically volume two because I'm currently reading volume one and really enjoying it. So I asked the internet to see if there were any dragons in this graphic novel series because this is a graphic novel series that's based off of a podcast where these three brothers and their dad all play Dungeons and Dragons. So these are their characters that they created and these books detail the campaigns that they have gone through and they're really fun and funny and I love them. But I asked if there were any dragons in here. Someone out there said there weren't. However, I found a dragon when I was skimming this book because I was sure there had to be a dragon somewhere. And you bet your ass there is a dragon in here. So, you know, I don't know what to say, but whoever said there wasn't a dragon can eat my shorts. Let's find it. There is one page where you see a dragon. You know, as a co-host for the readathon, I can absolutely say without a doubt that we are very flexible on these prompts. However these work for you is exactly how we want them to be functioning, you know? We want you to have a good time. We want you to have access to books that you will enjoy that are right up your alley. And guess who just found the dragon? You see that? You see that right there? Do you see that? It's a freaking dragon. The three-headed looking worm kind of situation. Dragon. So this book works for the dragon-based prompt because there's also a wizard in here. This guy's a wizard. So, you know, am I nailing it or am I nailing it? I gotta say, I really am nailing this. All right, our sixth dragon is Kihawahine. And for this dragon, I will be doing the dragon-based prompt because we just love our dragons, which for this one is spirits. I will be reading The Last Samsara by Kristen Cicerelli or Cicarelli. This book definitely has a form of spirit in it. I think I got like a hundred pages into this, like a while back when I had it as the ebook, but I never got around to finishing it and I was actually really enjoying this. So first, I have confirmation from someone who has read the book, I think Jade was the one who read the book, that there are definitely a form of spirits or spiritual beings in this. But also if we look at the summary, in the beginning there was the Namsara, the child of sky and spirit. So there you go. There is mention of spirit or spirits, spiritual beings, something going on with spirits in this book. So it completes our prompt for Kihawahine, spirits. Bam. Nailing this. Now our last prompt is Akek. So I originally was going to read a different book for this. However, after seeing the amount of books that I am trying to tackle in August and looking at how many books I read in the past couple months, I decided to combine the seventh prompt for a keck with our group book. So I will be doing the global prompt for this book, which is Africa. So I'll be completing this prompt with our group book, which is The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. This is a really fascinating story that we decided to pick for our group book. So this is an African inspired epic fantasy fantasy, specifically from the Tosa people where Evan Winter is actually from. It is about a world caught in an eternal war and the Omehi people have been fighting this war for over 200 years without much hope of any coming peace. One in every 2,000 women has this power to call down dragons and one in every 100 men has a power to become this really intense fighting machine. But our main character Tao is giftless so he can do neither of these things. All he wants is to settle down and have a family so he tries to get his way out of 
of having to battle in this war. But then after this terrible accident that happens to some loved ones, he decides to go for revenge. So that is our group book. It is a fantasy book. I believe it's around 500 pages, so I decided to combine it with the seventh prompt. And those are all of the books that I will be reading for Draconathon. If you watch this TBR and you're a little confused about how our prompts work, please, I really encourage you to watch our announcement videos, either mine or Jade's, where we discuss how the prompts work, how you can apply them in different ways. Like how I was talking about earlier with the Tea Dragon Society counting for the prompt of water, you can do that in multiple different ways. If you have any questions about specific books, then please just let me know down in the comments and I can answer any questions that you may have. We still have our Discord open, so if you want to join, my link for that will be down below as well. I also still have links and resources for the Black Lives Matter movement down in my description because this movement is not over just because people have stopped talking about it, have stopped tweeting about it, and the news has stopped talking about it. We need to continue supporting people by signing petitions, giving money where we can, and continuing to educate ourselves. So if you have any recommendations for ways that I can continue to examine my own privilege and other ways that I can educate myself about this movement specifically or any other regions, please let me know. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like or subscribe button, especially if you want to see my vlogs coming up for Draconathon. I do have one more exciting announcement for anyone who has made it to the end of this video. I am creating right now some graphics for any person that wants to bullet journal about their Draconathon experience. I am currently still in the process of making these. If I have any finished, I will put them up right here. Otherwise, I will be sending them out on our Instagram and our Twitter and our Discord. So if you want any of those graphics and you aren't on any of those platforms, please let me know and I can send them to you individually. I hope that you find some sunlight throughout your day. Thank you. Bye. Go, 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 go.